Hey guys, Bryson with Trick Tools here, and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the revised version of our Milwaukee Portaband Pro, and uh, tell you guys you know, the features of this thing and uh, how it can help you in your shop. So, um, first of all, this is a jig, uh, so we do not sell the, uh, the bandsaw by itself, so uh, you'll have to source your own bandsaw. This jig fits a couple of different models of the Milwaukee Portaband saws, so, um, we'll list those on the screen and you can see uh, if the model you have will fit the jig uh, as it is and, uh, and it will also tell you if you want the capabilities of all of this, uh, which portaband to buy if you want to uh, have the jig as well. So um, for starters, uh, really if you have a portaband and you're trying to you know, get the use of the handheld portaband saw uh, in your shop you need to be cutting stuff by hand all that sort of thing really the jig is designed to give you the extra capabilities of being able to have the chop saw style cut as well as having a vertical table on here uh, that will allow you to do some vertical cutting as well just to expand the capabilities of your porta band saw so um, if you and your shop need a dedicated bench top band saw and that's all you're going to be doing is chop saw style cutting um, and maybe even a little bit of vertical. Um, we do have other saws that would be an option as well. Um, you know, you don't have to go out and buy just this and the jig, whatever, to have a, a kind of a chop saw style band saw uh, in your shop. So, um, like I said, really the, the best thing about this unit is the expanded capabilities it gives you from the handheld saw. So, like I said, you want the handheld unit because you need the handheld unit, you're gonna use it on a job site, that sort of thing. This porta band can go with you uh, to those places and that's what makes it really nice is that it's easily portable. Um, if you do wanna carry it, there's a little chain here on the side to lock it uh, down in place and then all you gotta do is pick it up you can carry it off wherever you wanna go. So that's a really nice feature uh, is just the portability and it, it goes right along with the uh, porta band anywhere you need to take it. So. Um, some of the initial features, uh, we've got a gas shock here on the side that uh, eases the movements um, on this thing as a chop saw. So uh, makes it nice there. It does have uh, the ability to do some miter cutting and that would be by adjusting this back plate here for, the, uh, for your work rest. And we have different angles marked here on the base of the jig to be able to tell you what 30, 45, and 60 is, and then obviously you can set it up uh, from there. And that gives you the ability to have that uh, miter cutting capability. So basically from there, um, there's not a whole lot else to it. There's an on and off uh, trigger here on the side. And uh, basically, if you're gonna turn it on, you uh, can fire it up there. Turn it off and uh, so in order to convert it to a vertical saw you have to undo the gas shock here and that allows the saw head to be able to tilt back so from there what you'll want to do is to use it on the side of a bench you can uh, tilt the base down and it's got nice rubber feet on there the weight's still on the table so it's going to stay there real nice and steady and then, uh, so we have the vertical table that fits right in place here. And so there's the little uh, platen, I guess, uh, here on the, that's built onto the saw. And that's what's gonna help attach the vertical table to the saw. So you wanna slide this all the way out as far as it can go. And then there's a, a little knob here, which is gonna go right in the slot opening uh, where the blade goes on the saw. So you're gonna back that off. And then there's some set screws on here to be able to get it adjusted, get it level uh, to where it's nice and solid in place. So from there, you'll slide this right on here and then tighten up the little thumb knob here. And then you can Kind of just get a visual uh, if you're just kind of doing quick cuts or if you want to really make sure that that blade is truly 90 degrees perpendicular to the vertical table you can set a 
um, angle finder or something on there to make sure that you're set in place. So um, yeah, so you can set this up. There's a couple set screws, like I said, that gives you the ability to tighten that in place nice and solid. And you just want to make sure that the adjustment here is because it'll kind of wiggle around a little bit. So you want to make sure that uh, your blade is not up against the slotted opening in the vertical table. So um, get that tightened up there. So from there, uh, you can just fire up the saw and get right to cutting. So you'll be able to feed your material right in there. And uh, when you're done, Turn the saw off and it's real easy to uh, convert it back to the uh, kind of the horizontal chop saw style configuration. So loosen those set screws, loosen the thumb screw at the front, remove that table, slide that back and you can lift the base up, reattach the gas shock. and you're right back to regular use there. So um, yeah, it's a pretty nice little unit. Uh, like I said, it gives you the capabilities to expand what you can use your port of bandsaw for. So um, we do offer this as a base kit, which basically comes with the jig uh, as you see it. And then we have a deluxe kit uh, that does come with a clamp that will slide right in this slot here. You can use that to clamp your material and the vertical table to be able to do the vertical cutting. So uh, for more information on the Milwaukee version of the Portaband Pro, uh, give us a call or visit our website at tricktools.com and uh, we can answer any questions that you have uh, from there. So uh, check these out, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on high performance tools for the fabricator.